Good morning, friends. Today is September the 3rd, 2016. We are right now at approximately the midpoint of the Torah calendar for the Feast of Trumpets. Uh, as I was getting ready for work this morning, the Holy Spirit spoke a word to me and I went and got this piece of paper and I wrote down what he shared with me and let, let me just tell it to you I want to make this quick to the point and I would encourage you to pause this video write this down post it somewhere and let's not forget this great truth this is what the Holy Spirit uh, spoke to me in regards to uh, what's going on you know with these um, people that's crying wolf so to speak about the return of the Lord so this is what the Lord said when you're asleep what do you use to wake up well uh, an alarm do you wake up on the first sounding of the alarm or does it repeat well of course it repeats do you get up and get ready or do you hit the snooze bar and then go back to sleep well we hit the snooze bar if you're wise, you will set several alarms to make sure you don't miss your appointment. And these so-called crying wolf warnings are there to wake people up. But they keep hitting their snooze bars and going back to sleep. If they don't wake up and stay up and get up and get ready now for my return, they will miss their divine appointment. Wake up, people. Wake up, people. Get up. Get out of spiritual blindness. Get out of spiritual sleep. Shake yourself and be prepared for the day is at hand. Now, friend, that's profound. I tell you, truly, the Holy Spirit spoke to me today. And uh, I don't, I do not say that lightly. Uh, the Holy Spirit, He told me this, and I'm sharing it with you. And what I want to say before I end this video, please share this word with your church, with your friends, your family, your loved ones. Please share it on Facebook. Uh, friends, we got to realize that when these scoffers, and the world and even church members when people are are saying the Lord's about to come he's gonna come this day he's gonna come that day you know yes they miss the mark but listen it is God who works in us both to will and to do for his good pleasure God is allowing this to happen to wake us up to make us realize the day is drawing closer and closer at hand. And as the scoffers use these missed dates as proof that Christ is not coming, God is allowing these things to happen to wake us up. It's like the alarm. You know, when, when, when the alarm goes off, you know, it just doesn't go bonk. And that's it you know you know how my alarm goes bonk 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 until you turn it off and um, you know and when we set alarms we don't set our alarms let's say we're supposed to be at work or doctor's office at 9 a.m. we don't set the alarm at 9 a.m. we'll set the alarm just like the Lord said at 6 30 7 o'clock 7 30 so that as we're getting closer to the time we're supposed to get ready and be there these alarms are designed to wake us up so that we can get up get out of our sleep and get dressed and get ready for our appointment and that's exactly what the Holy Spirit is doing God is sending alarms before the actual day of the rapture of the church so friend, understand that God is, even though these people are missing the day, 
it still is drawing attention to the fact that Jesus Christ is coming. He is coming. And you know, think of this, and I'm going to end this video. If we knew for a fact that the Lord's going to come on such and such day, if we knew that right now, how many people would live it up, not get close to God until the last two or three days? And then they'd, you know, they, they would start reading their Bible, start praying. And no, God knows how we are. You know, we as human beings try to get away with as much as possible. And God is allowing these things to happen so that we can always stay ready. We must always stay ready. Ready for the return of Jesus Christ. And friend, He is about to come. The alarms are sounding. Get ready. Jesus Christ Jesus Christ is about to sound the trumpet and we will leave. Let's be ready. Let's lo start looking every day for the return of the Lord. God bless you, my friend. Let people know that Jesus Christ is coming.